It started originally with the creator T-Tech, as it says over here. Since he's no longer with us, they've transitioned to a community project. What these are is it's a group of people that are making these scripts to make installing LXC containers much easier for all these different services. So there's a substantial amount over here. They all do different things. So like over here, we can come over to add block and DNS. And if you want a pie hole LXC container, they have one over here that you can run. Maybe you're into note taking. This looks like it's some sort of note taking document LXC container that you can install and run on your network. Maybe you do some programming. Here is Git T, so you can run Git. You know, there, there's a bunch of different possibilities, and I'm going to show you really how easy it is to set one of these up. So I'm just going to come over here and grab something really quick. I'm trying to grab Homer over here just because it's just a quick dashboard, and it'll actually be up and running, so I can show you how it is. So over here, it's going to be pretty universal across for all the different LXC templates they have. They're going to tell you what it is, the port that it runs off of, the specs that the script is going to give it, a quick description. It's going to say if it's updatable or not after you unsole it. They have two versions, it looks like. So they have from their GitHub and then their Git T. And then they're going to tell you where the config lives. The whole objective of these scripts is that they wrote a, a script that you can run in your Proxmox host shell, and it's going to download the template, install, and create the container for you and automate the whole process. These work really well. I've been using them for a while, so I have to say it's, it's a really nice addition to have to the home lab. So I'm just going to come over here and copy this link. We're going to come back over to Big Lab. Now what's important is you're going to make sure you're on your host. So I'm on Big Lab. I'm going to open up a shell. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for everybody. And now over here, we're just going to paste in that script. And you can see I have this whole bash statement. I'm going to click Enter. And now you can see it's coming up asking if I want to run the script. So it's just going to ask if I want to send diagnostics. I don't right now, so I'm going to click No. And now we can run with the default settings, or if you do need to change anything, you can. Again, it tells you right here in the script page what it's going to be giving it. So I'm just going to say default's fine. And now, again, it's going to show it here as well. And it's going to ask you where you want to install the storage to. So I'm just going to give it to the LVM main. I'm going to click OK. And just to go over, we can see we have our container ID, our memory, our cores, disk size. Here's that unprivileged or privileged, as I was saying before, the version and the OS. 